We're back with game two of Modern between Eric Holden at the top and Luca Marini at the bottom. Luca took game one with his black red pack rat deck, largely thanks to a, to a blood moon that Eric just couldn't play around. We see the hand here of Eric. Uh, Luca's decided Eric's keeping his hand. I think it's a it's a decent hand to keep. It'd be interesting to see what he wants to do with the flooded strand. If we just have a look at um, Luca, Luca's decided to keep a six lander. He's got the blood moon, so it's not a bad draw again. He needs to find the third land, so we'll, we'll just see what Eric's going to do with the. He does have Ramand, so Ramand can buy him a turn against the Blood Moon. A second Pyromancer, so he's going to probably drop the Pyromancer because he can't get Blood Moon next turn. But uh, Eric does have the answer with Fatal Push. Importantly, only one answer. Sorry, Luca has the answer. All Dark Confidant. This is going to be an interesting one because. If Eric taps out to remove the Confidant, a land next turn can mean Blood Moon. Otherwise he's going to give him a draw. So we see what he wants to do here. Actually, no, he, he can actually bolt the Confidant this turn and Raman because he got that third land. And a pass it. So see if Luca can hit his third land drop. He cannot. It's a Terminate. So he'll run out of Pack Rat. Um, not sure about that one. I think it's a missed time snapcaster. Yeah, he says, whoops, misclick. Oh, Lucas offered him a, a rollback, which is, is very sporting. I suspect that was just a... not really sure what he wants to do so he plays the pack rat actually uh, it looks like x mage has got the rollback bug back again i was playing a game earlier today not sure what he wanted to do there oh okay so he's saying he misclicked and selected the snapcaster when he wanted to select remand so he reminded it back to his hand all right he feels he can play around blood moon with double blue and there's the land, so we're going to find out right now. No, Luca's not going to Blood Moon. Big call. He sees Pyromancer is more of a threat than the Blood Moon can get him the, the match. It'd be interesting to see in, in Luca's colors. He saw he saw the he saw the Pyromancer in game one, so we'll see what he bought in to, to take care of it. Eric, you can see he doesn't have the the blue mana. Oh, sorry, the white mana that he wants. He does have Snapcaster Remand for the Blood Moon that potentially comes down next turn. So we'll see what Eric's line is here. No answer to the Delver. That's an interesting one. He's got two choices now. He's going to run out of threat. Try and race. And it, I think it's worked. He's got two Rebel Masters. So he's drawn out the Remand here from... Or he can also select... Is there a Bolt there? Yeah, there's a Bolt. He might want to just take the Bolt. Oh, he's going to Remand it. So just a tempo play. If he can flip that Delver, he's in control here. Okay, another Snapcaster. So th the, the last couple of turns are probably costly for Eric, not being able to flip that Delver. He's going to try for the Rebel Master again. If the Rebel Master goes unanswered, then it's the sort of card that will 
can probably beat the Delver and the Snapcaster, but there's an Electrolyze. I don't know what that is. That's from EDH game about an hour ago. Electrolyze takes down the Rebel Master and nets him a card as well. It was an Ancestral Vision. Again, the Delver doesn't flip. And again, no white mana. And he holds up what? Snap. I think there's no lightning bolts left. Is oh, he's got one lightning bolt left. A fourth land here, so Liliana of the Veil. What's he going to do with this? I think he's going to lose that Liliana either way. I don't know if I like that play. Basically a 3 mana removal spell for a snapcaster. This time does the Delver flip. Yes it does, lightning bolt. Pyromancer before the bolt, and I think Eric's starting to get a, a control of this board now. What does Luca need here? He, he, I think a board wipe, like an Anger of the Gods, would be good. You can see he's got the... The problem he has is that um, Eric's got the Lightning Bolt in hand, and he's also got a Snapcaster, so he can Snap Bolt as well. So this is a really a massive uphill battle now for, for Luca, who's taking six next turn. Well, Spellsnare can get the rat. But six damage coming in, it's going to drop him to five, so it's lethal on board next turn. He needs threats. He uh, actually can spell near the pack rat, and then he can bolt the Rebel Master, and he's got the match. We're going to go to game three in modern. Yeah, and Luca concedes.